What's up everyone? Welcome to Ola Testing Show. Today I'm trying out a combo of gear in the name of Alice in Chains. The Freedman JJ Junior Amplifier and the Epiphone Les Paul Custom Jerry Cantrell Prophecy Guitar. <laughs> Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains is obviously a legend and the legend deserves the best gear in the world so he has a Gibson Les Paul and a Freeman big amplifier called the JJ today I'm trying out Jerry Cantrell's budget stuff which isn't really budget but you know it's the lower cost models uh, you can get a Gibson Les Paul Jerry Cantrell guitar if you want but it's, it's very expensive the option for other regular people would be this which is the Epiphone Les Paul Prophecy uh, custom Jerry Cantrell guitar and this is a $1149 or Euro guitar you might say that is a little hefty for an Epiphone guitar but think of the inflation man the inflation has been insane no it's also a pretty high spec epiphone guitar so that might also be the reason for its price the Friedman JJ Jr amplifier is a smaller 20 watt version of the big JJ amplifier that Jerry Cantrell has from Friedman this amplifier is around 1800 bucks which is also a lot of money <laughs> that's not really budget is it you can get a more expensive version you know the 100 big amplifier but you can also get a, an expensive small version <laughs> however it is an all tube amplifier assemble in the US you have EL84 power tubes and a couple of preamp tubes the guitar itself is a mahogany body Les Paul custom with a maple top and uh, even though the body is very very white very nice and white and really not yellow because uh, that's usually how you see or how I see a lot of Gibson guitars is that the white means yellow usually <laughs> but uh, you can see this is plain white the binding is slightly green yellow-ish and it's a double binding so you get it both on the top and on the bottom you get a tunomatic bridge locking Grover tuners uh, Graftech nut Fishman Fluence Modern that has a little custom voicing for Jerry Cantrell uh, apparently you're going to be able to split them to make it sound more like a single coil ebony fretboard on a maple neck and uh, yeah man this this is a heavy guitar <laughs> the headstock is the typical Epiphone headstock but with a bigger custom inlay in the middle so you know for being an Epiphone guitar I think it looks pretty sick and I really like the touch with the brushed chrome on all the hardware on this guitar that's just a little a little extra that you know people might not think about but that's something I enjoy when I look at a guitar like this my phone is way over there but I'm hearing uh, interruptions so how does this rig sound well we're gonna find out right now I have a cable going straight into the amplifier and the amplifier goes into this Hesu cabinet this Hesu cabinet has a vintage 30 speaker right there that's a Neumann TLM 102 microphone I also have a stereo microphone over there I will also demo the direct output and see how that sounds later okay and here we go we're in the distorted channel mode in the BE mode BE for Freeman okay <laughs> That sounds pretty lovely, I must say. Okay. 
Something I noticed immediately is uh, how stringy this guitar sounds through this rig right here. I think it might be the pickups. You can really hear that first initial jick 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 jick. It's very stringy sound and very metallic. Okay. Gain, obviously. Alright, that's the regular distorted channel, but we also have uh, JBE mode uh, Which adds more saturation or like a clip uh, Let's listen Okay, here it is, listen to that This mode right here is very male sounding. Holy shit. I just can't get away from this, you know, stringy noise right there. Okay. Let me <laughs> let me just physically push the microphone a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm basically angling the pickup. That sounds f***ing horrible. Okay, so it's tilting like this, but if I push it down so it angles inward a little bit. That stringy sound is gone. Can you hear that? Okay, let's angle it back. Very important, look at the angle of your pickup, man. The neck is okay, uh, but it doesn't feel too bad. It might be a little bit on the thicker side, but you know that comes with a less Paul as well. It, it, they are a little thicker. Worth noticing is that this guitar actually has 24 frets, which is also a prophecy thing or a Jerry Cantrell thing. He also has a Wino version that has 22 frets, and uh, maybe that's Jerry Cantrell calling me. Telling me to play better. Oh, 
Oh shit, we have a clean child too, let's go. I guess this is supposed to be the single call thingy, my bob. You have the humbucker mode here and then... Am I out of tune? <laughs> Enough cleans, right? Sometimes I just wish I had a delay going. I must say, I'm really impressed by the amp tone in this. That's just such a nice, saturated tone. That's the Epiphone Les Paul Custom Jerry Cantrell Prophecy and the Friedman JJ Jr. amplifier right there. And this is the absolute first time I purchased an Epiphone guitar. Before, the first Gibson guitar I ever bought was the Dave Mustaine Gibson Flying V. And, you know, this is sort of new territory for me. Obviously, I played uh, Les Pauls before, but I never actually owned one myself. So this is definitely uncharted territory. I think the thing about Les Paul guitars is that they're so very not shreddy super strike guitars <laughs> if that makes any sense for a guy like me that's very brought up on super strat and john petrucci and you know 24 frets and 25 and a half inch scale length uh, going to a les paul guitar uh, type of single cut guitar with a shorter scale this one obviously has 24 frets but you know regular gibson les paul has, has 22 frets it is a big step and uh, sometimes it works great sometimes it's okay in this case with this guitar i feel it's more like an okay you know, it's a super gorgeous guitar and I really like how it came out, but it's just not for me. It's not a super shredded guitar. It really suits this type of player a lot. I'm just not that type of player. However, can we talk a little bit about this Friedman amplifier? Holy shit, it sounds so f good. I have to make a separate video of me using this and a regular guitar that I'm used to with, you know, Duncan Solar or something else. Uh, I that's going to be interesting because I'm uh, slightly, slightly in love with this uh, little amplifier. It sounds insane. Okay, so there you go. Jerry Cantrell, Epiphone, guitar and his Friedman JJ Jr. amplifier for right there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Maybe put a comment. Which guitar do you want me to see play through this amplifier rig the next time? Huh? Interesting. Also, if you like the tone of this setup right here with this microphone and all, I have an impulse response available for you to purchase over on olangmanshop.com. And you can use that in your plugins and your uh, Neural Quad Cortex uh, DSP Line 6 fractals and uh, be happy. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>